Hey guys, welcome to another exciting tutorial from the Reaper blog. So what I'm working on here is a podcasting session. Uh, it's for the mastering show. I've done my first edit. I've sent the file to Ian. He's listened and made some notes of some things that we want to change. So he's given me a list of times that you can see here. And based on these edits, the actual length of the show is going to change. If I just go through this list one by one and cut out stuff, I'm going to have a really hard time finding all the later items because the show is going to get shorter and shorter. And so the time code that he's giving me is not going to match up with where the actual audio is anymore. But the trick I'm going to show you today is how I resolve that problem uh, really easily using regions. Let's listen to the first edit point. My only kind of professional experience of it, but I have kind of played a ton of games and read things about so, I mean, you were saying, I mean, is there such a thing? So I already have a time selection around this area of the part that I want to remove. I'm not going to remove it yet. I'm going to make a region for it. So I'm going to right click in the ruler and choose from the list, create region. I make regions a lot. So I've actually assigned this action to the letter R on my keyboard. And I use T for markers, if you're wondering. So now to go to the next edit point, I'm going to use the jump to window. It's command J for my keyboard. And I'm just going to type in the time code that Ian has given me. So here we are in the second edit point. I'm just going to make time selection around this area and mark it with a region and move on. Opening up the jump to window again, entering the time code and going to the next place. Okay, so I've gone through and marked all of the edit points with regions. So now I'm going to jump back to the first region, the first edit point, and I'm going to remove the contents of the time selection. So now the dialogue in this section sounds like this. Experience. I mean, is there such a thing as mastering? And now I will jump to the next region boundary using the square brackets keys on my keyboard. The action there is go to next marker slash project end. That also does the edges of your time selection. It's a really helpful action to use, and I keep it on the square brackets. So I'm going to keep working through these edits and leave you guys here. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support through Patreon, and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.